Would you like to be an expert and achieve success in your life? I'll be back in a moment with a few suggestions on how you can achieve that goal. Are you willing to put in 10,000 hours of practice and training to become a successful expert in your field? Successful people will give you a resounding yes to that question. They understand that the 10,000 hour rule course is a metaphor, not a hard and fast number. They know that if our dream is to become an expert and successful in some area of life, then we've got to be prepared to put in a lot of time honing down our natural gifts and our talents through study, practice, and training. Successful people know that sitting around and waiting for lightning to strike or waiting for someone to knock on their front door and present them with a success certificate, that's not likely to happen. They know that very few people win the lottery and very few people get struck by lightning. They are willing to embrace reality. They know the 10,000 hour rule is the primary path to success. How often do we look at a singer or a musician or an athlete and think to ourselves, wow, I wish I had that kind of talent. What we fail to acknowledge is the 10,000 hours that that person probably has invested in turning their natural talents into success. Now, we all have our gifts and our strengths. Everyone has them. Our work is to discover what those gifts and strengths are and then decide what we were meant to do with them. And then embrace a single-minded determination to roll up our sleeves and have the metal to invest the 10,000 hours needed to perfect and hone those skills, skills and gifts. Far too often, we find ourselves reciting our well-rehearsed litany of all the limitations, all the gifts, and all the skills that we don't have. All the reasons why we could never be that successful. We tell ourselves, those people were really lucky. Unlike me, they were born with great gifts. Over time, of course, our litany slowly turns into a self-fulfilling prophecy. We ruminate and we rehearse the litany in our, of our limitations because our primitive ego does not like to embrace hard choices the hard choices that are required to achieve success. <laughs> Our primitive ego does not like change. It doesn't like difficult obstacles, it doesn't like hard work, and it doesn't like being disciplined. Our primitive ego would rather take the easy path, waiting for success and happiness and meaning in life to find us. Our primitive ego would rather embrace luck and focus on stories such as the person who smoked all their life and drank whiskey and used drugs and was overweight and never exercised, never ate fruits or vegetables, and of course lived to be 107 years of age. Our primitive ego likes those stories that encourage us to avoid the hard choices and the 10,000 hours that we're going to need to invest in ourselves as we journey toward our goals. Like success, healthy life requires 10,000 hours of healthy living, <laughs> not wishful thinking. So to summarize, the primary difference between those who are successful and those who are not is rarely a difference in the gifts they were born with. The primary difference between those who are successful and those who are not is the simple reality that successful people are willing to invest the 10,000 hours of hard work, dogged perseverance, and long hours striving for the excellence required to be successful. So if our goal in life is success and happiness, 
we will need to use the results of our 10,000 hours to embrace the deeper spiritual meaning that comes when we are committed to adding value to the lives of others and making a difference in the world around us, making the world a better place in which to live. We need to remember that success is not about personal fame or wealth or prestige. It's not about standing in the limelight. True success in life is knowing in our heart that our 10,000 hours made a difference. If you'd like to read more articles on this kind of subject, you can push the button, hit the button down below, and it'll take you to the Stony Hill website where you can sign up for the Stony Hill Nugget newsletter. It's free, and I think you'll enjoy the articles. I think you'll find them helpful.